Hi everyone, I'm Cecilia Elizabeth from the Cisluror community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us this Thursday, June 30th. Today we celebrate the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Church. This day is dedicated to the Christians martyred under the Emperor Nero. In the year 64, a great fire broke out in Rome. When suspicion fell on Nero, he accused Christians of having set the fire. The historian Tacitus wrote that while no one believed this, countless Christians were seized, seized nevertheless, mocked and put to death in unspeakable ways. Today we pray for those martyrs who we don't even know the name, but who fought for the faith. And because of them also we are here. Because of them, we can profess our faith. First reading today is from Prophet Amos, chapter 7, verses 10 to 17. Let's get started with the reading of the Word of God for today. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you, in every center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for, for it is the king's sanctuary, and that is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go, prophesied to my people Israel. Now therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You say, do not prophesy against Israel and do not preach against the house of Isaac. Therefore, thus says the Lord, your wife shall become a prostitute in the city and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword and your land shall be parceled out by line. You yourself shall die in an unclean land, and Israel shall surely go into exile away from its land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we continue the reading of prophet Amos, and we see that the king, he was furious against Amos because Amos was prophesied, was telling what the Lord God has told him. And for the people of Israel, it was very difficult to believe that God was saying, you are going to exile. You are going to be slaves under the hand of people who will oppress you. Exile was a great, a great suffer for the people. And they thought that they would only go to exile because the other armies were stronger than them, because they couldn't fight, not because that was the will of the Lord for them. And why exile was the will of the Lord for them? To show them that they were wrong, to show them that they needed to humble themselves before the Lord. But the people did not do it, except a small portion. But the big portion of the people of Israel did not do it. They couldn't believe that exile was possible, that exile was at hand. And when it is said to Amos, go somewhere else, it prophesies there. Amos says, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet's son. It means I don't come from a lineage of prophets. I'm just a herdsman, a man who was on the countryside, shepherding his flock, feeding his flock, and then God called him. To come here and to prophesy to you that you were wrong. And God even used the life of prophet Amos to show to the people of Israel. 
Amos' wife was a prostitute, became a prostitute to show the people of Israel that they were God's wife, they were God's bride, and they were prostituting themselves with other idols, with other nations, with pagan nations. The sons and daughters of Amos, they were killed by the sword. They were killed in, in wars and in things that happened to show the people of Israel that you were going to die, you were going to suffer. Come back to me, return to me. The prophecy of Amos is, is very strong, but is also beautiful. When there on chapter 14, God says, return to me, return to me with all your heart, return to me. But they could not listen to our Lord. Many times we are like this, we cannot listen to him. God is saying, come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. And we cannot listen to him. So difficult things have to happen so we can open our eyes and return to him. Responsorio today, Psalm 19 says, The love of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are pure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. And the Gospel from St. Matthew chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. After getting to a boat, Jesus crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man laying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to, to the paralyzed man, take, take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to, the, to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. So he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God who had given such authority to human beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus cured a paralyzed man. Jesus gave this man walk. Jesus gave this man the ability to walk again. The scribes, the Pharisees, they could not believe that Christ could forgive sins and by forgiving sins, setting our souls free. So Christ showed them that not only he is able to set our souls free, but he can set our bodies free. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Lord, show us your ways. Show us, Lord, that you have the words of eternal life and that you can save us. Amen.